guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you have a toddler in your house, you know that no toy works like giving them a couple of glasses and some water, right? That will keep them engaged for hours. And my four year old is no different. So what started out with just water kind of grew into this really crazy experiment. So he would ask me for water, oil, rice powder, maida, and it just escalated from there. And he would just be on for hours role playing this mad scientist experiments. So that's what really got me searching online for real science experiments, which I can do with my four year old. If you don't know me, my name is Divya Sahadevan and my parenting mantra has been to just let them be. So I believe that every child is unique and with the least external impressions that we pass on to the child, they are naturally inclined to grow in the direction of their unique talents. So if this resonates with you and if you'd like to follow me on this journey, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So coming back to my experiment today, we will be making a DIY lava lamp. It is really super cool. Your child is going to be super impressed and it even touches on some, some of these basic science principles. If you're really bothered about that, I wasn't honestly very bothered about the scientific part of it. I was just really excited to see his expression and the amount of fun that we had really putting this together. So get ready to have some fun. A quick look at the items that we'll need for our experiment. So firstly, we need these effervescent tablets. So I got these cola flavored ones, but uh, I think you can use anything as long as it's a tablet which kind of fizzes if it's in water. Those are the sort you that you need for this experiment. Then you need just any regular oil and uh, you need some drops of color this just adds to the kind of the, you know the beauty of the lava lamp you need regular water and some kind of transparent long glass will look good and i couldn't find one which was completely plain so i'm using this one and let's see how it goes so firstly you need to fill about one fourth of your jar with water just about so much and then you want to fill the rest of your jar with your regular oil. Just about so much will do. And you can see the little bubbles that are trapped here because of the force with which I poured my oil and it was really beautiful. And we spent a little bit time here kind of just explaining, you know, how the weight of water is heavier than oil and how that's why, you know, the water kind of settles down to the bottom and we have the oil that's floating on top. Next, once you're done, you can go ahead and add your color. So color, you can decide how much you want, as much or as little as you please. It's just how much intense you want the color to be. So I think I would have added something like six or seven drops here. And it's really nice to see, you know, the bursts of color once they go down to the water and how they kind of burst into the water. That was a pretty sight. And once you have that, and now it's time for the show to begin and you just drop your tablet in and just wait and watch and you can see a little DIY lamp come into action. It was super cool to watch. My son was really amazed. I was really excited, in fact, to watch it. So I did try and explain the science as much as a four-year-old could understand that, you know, the tablet, once it goes into the water, it kind of dissolves with the water and that releases the carbon dioxide or you can just say air. And air being lighter, it kind of floats back to the top and along with the water that is trapped inside the bubble and once it goes to the top it kind of uh, the air bubble bursts and that causes the water again being heavy to kind of sink down to the bottom and this just keeps happening over and over again and i'm not sure how much of the science he really got but he was really interested to know what was happening and i think that's that's as much as you know uh, what you want to really kindle in your child and we did this for a couple of tablets and in the end we were still left with this really beautiful jar and we still have it and sometimes you know we just it's nice to play around with i hope you enjoyed this video we had so much fun putting this together 
If you know any more such great experiments that I can do with my four-year-old, make sure you let me know on the comment section below. If you'd like to see more tidbits of us off camera, make sure you follow us on Instagram on Living with Divi. So that's all for today. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely week ahead. I'll see you again next week. Until then, take care. It's me, Divi, signing out. Adi poli, epo no kide liya? Aran ne, pisa ita, aran no ki.